You're watching Finding Omaha. I'm Reed Kilmer. Today you're going to meet Steve. Steve loves Dorothy Lynch dressing. Please meet Steve. My name is Steve Jones. I'm from here, from Omaha originally, but I've lived in California most of my life. Oh, age, 68. Uh, back in town for Benson High 50th reunion, which is going on momentarily. It was great. Uh, kind of a pretty typical family. We had we had a good good family unit. I'm the younger of two boys. Uh, grew up at uh, near 30th 30th and Pacific uh, when I was young. It was a bit of a rough neighborhood. And then in uh, fourth grade, moved out to uh, Keystone area and uh, lived out there until I graduated from high school. Went to University of Nebraska. I uh, got a couple degrees in computer science there and then went out to California to do some research and then jumped to Silicon Valley, been in Silicon Valley startup since. So uh, any dreams for the future? <laughs> Just stop working <laughs> without, <laughs> without reducing my lifestyle. <laughs> That, that's challenging. Probably the thing that defines me my most is my family. I uh, not my career, although my career's been good. Uh, I have eight kids, which is more or less unheard of, and in the San Francisco Bay Area, is completely unheard of. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's also very expensive, so that's where most of my money is gone. So, uh, but it's you know definitely no regrets there. Kids are awesome. I don't know that this is the best lesson, but it's the one that jumped in my head, so I'll go with it. I find, and this is advice I've given to my, you know, a lot of my, to, to my kids, is that I would say life is harder than it looks. And what I mean by that is that you go through life and you look around you and everybody seems to be doing fine. And it's like, but you're all screwed up. You got these relationship issues. You got these habits that you can't overcome, that you know are terrible. You've got goals that you want to reach and you just are so pathetic and actually making any progress and it's like everybody else is doing fine why is it that only I suck and the truth is is that it's not just you it's pretty much everybody and that's kind of the way life is and it 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 just it's harder than it looks and the reason why that's positive news and not not depressing is that if you know something's a challenge then you're psychologically it's like okay I'm gonna take this on but if you're expecting it to be a walk in the park and then suddenly it's hard then you think something's wrong here and it's like no most of the time there isn't anything wrong here it's just that it's hard you got to get through it you know you know the right thing to do do that and it'll be okay I'd like to be remembered for passing on for, for, for my kids. You know, my kids are functional adults that are adding value to the world, and I feel good about that. Um, you know, personally, I'm a Christian now. I wasn't when I was young, but I am now, and, and that that's important to me. You know, and so that's part of the values that, you know, that I feel is important to pass on. And I think a lot of what's, you know, made America, you know, what it is in the positive side. So there's people out there, lots of people out there. I mean, not just people with my values, but lots of people that are trying to do the right thing. And, and, um, and I am too. <laughs>